uh, which is the topaz when it goes in the helmet. We'll go over the rest of the uh, the gems when we get them, uh, when we're back in town. More stuff. Let's stop. Whenever there's a huge group of rats like that, they won't let me stomp on them. What the hell? And now we have more fallen to deal with. These guys, you know, I mean, it's the same stuff that we've been encountering all this time. The guy definitely needs help, um, but I don't. Of course, I have the items for it, but even if I was naked, I probably could handle these guys. Lugo the Merchant, what do you have to say? Oh, thank you. I thought I was a dead man. I pick up garbage from the aqueduct so it doesn't ruin our water supply. Doesn't pay well, but I find plenty to sell. Have a look. He sells quite a bit of stuff, which is pretty nice, but... I, I don't feel right buying stuff. I, I really don't. I always find better stuff of other ways. So, if you want to check out, check out that kind of stuff, that's fine, but... Even though a couple of those were better than what I have now, uh, it, it won't last long. If you're not going to drop, I'm that just going to run away. Flesh is crawling. Uh, I've never seen a hive this big before. The hell? Is that a trigger an event or something? What the hell's going on here? They just keep spawning. I've never encountered this one before. And that's the thing about this game is that every time you play it, you will get new stuff. Uh, eventually, we are going to find a big enemy, maybe? Maybe? Your valor inspired me. I guess not. Okay, fine, we'll move on. Uh, see that, like, uh, the 24 monster kills get uh, plus ex bonus there. experience. That might be all that you get uh, additional experience from with that ruby, but even that would be definitely helpful over the course of time. I do want to get those levels once again so that I can... I'm overburdened. Wait, seriously? Oh, crap. Jeez. I didn't realize that was going to be an issue. <laughs> I didn't realize we were that far along. So after, once we find that next item, I will... Yeah, there's that next item right now. A shrunken head. We will go back to town. I will deal with all that. And uh, we'll, we'll try to look at the the jewels that I did pick up. And it looks like the end of them. It's good. Portal back to town. There's just a falchion over there that I don't want anything to do with. Falchion and Falchion. It actually, they say both is correct, which is weird. Okay, so, gems. Uh, we already went over the emerald. So, critical hit damage, extra gold, dexterity. Uh, chip topaz. Topaz will do uh, thorns on a weapon, which is weird. Uh, helm, 5% better chance of finding magical items. Everything else does intelligence. The amethyst does each hit adds plus 2 life. This is usually what I put in my weapons. Uh, plus 5% life on the helm and plus 6 vitality. And the fourth kind of gem is the ruby. Plus 3 minimum and plus 3 maximum damage. In other words, Pretty much plus three damage, but it doesn't, you know, work out that way. But that's the overall effect if you put that on a weapon. And then you get uh, bonus experience uh, plus five percent if you put it on the helm, and strength if you put it on anything else. All right, let me clear out all this, and I'll let you know if I get anything new. All right, I'm Everything back. And Leah's having trouble learning from Adria. Uh, I do have a couple new pieces of equipment. I do have a new axe, uh, which is definitely better than what I had before. More damage, more healing, lots more healing, and additional healing. I do have a new ring, which adds more to my strength, so now my DPS is uh, 60.5. I assume that's just uh, doing regular attacks. I think everything else is the same. Oh no, new amulet as well, so I'm definitely healing a lot. Uh, and I think everything else is the same, and everything went passed down between the Enchantress and, and the Templar and all that kind of stuff. Uh, taking a look at my stash real quickly, uh, I have put my stuff down here and my other character's stuff up here. You can see, hey, there's something better than perfect? Yeah, now I don't have the upgrades for that yet. We'll go over how to do that later uh, when it comes up. Here's the Liquid Rainbow. 
that we would have gotten in the Dalgur Oasis should I have gotten it to spawn, but of course it didn't. So it, up to this point, you should have these four, well, in this game so far. But of course, you can go back and farm anytime you want. But th these are the four that you could have gotten at this point, and chances are you didn't get any of them, and you'll have to farm all of them. But that's what you can get to this point. I uh, will try to remember <laughs> when the other one shows up, uh, but it's not for a while, if I remember right. There are there are two this act, though. You can purchase one, which is ridiculously expensive if you're playing through this on normal. Uh, and then there's the the one that you can find. You know, 100,000 at this point in the game. 100,000 gold is, is asking quite a lot. That might be all the money that I have. Um, the axe I did make at the... Uh, at the blacksmith through the crafting. This, uh, by the way, you might think, oh, maybe the guy Please spawns here. Many of the villagers here as you can. There are no others who will aid them. Shut up, I'm trying to talk here. Uh, maybe the guy spawns here and you can go in there to get the liquid rainbow. No, it is just the one on the left. I don't know why. Um, I checked. <laughs> I, I saw that in, in the guide and I went, no, I'm sure you can spawn at the other one. Nope, never happened. Uh, I, I had to go through there, I think, like six times through the dungeon, which means that I probably had to go through here probably around 15 times looking uh, to see if it, it opened up for me, and it just didn't. What the hell's going on here? What the hell is all that? I, what's with this, like, four-leaf clover thing in the middle here? What the hell's going on? Just dead villagers and gold. There's a chest over there. So I'll check. But seriously, what the hell's going on? This looks like some kind of ritual here. It's in the chest. Yeah, I figured it would spawn somebody. Who do we got? Just regular enemies? I figured it'd be a special. Get to the conjurer. Die. And now you can see that I'm definitely healing a little bit more. I, I would wish for more heals uh, as we go along. Um, you know, it's not much. You know, what's... What's 2% of 80? It's like less than 2. So I don't know if they round that shit up or not. But I'm hoping that they do. But every little bit helps. Especially when I, you know, damn near refuse to use potions. But you can, you can see it going up as I continue to attack. You know, ever so subtly, my health bar will go up. Well, the health globe, I should say. I don't have the bar, just a globe. And we are we are getting close to the end of the oasis. I know it has been going on for quite a while. It is a large ass area. Uh, one of the reasons that I don't know. One of the reasons that I don't necessarily like this act as much as the other acts is that this has I don't want to say like large desolate areas because I mean this is an oasis after all. There's a lot going on here. Ah, this, this portal will lead me to the head of Zoltan Kool. And it'll lead us to the Forgotten Ruins, which I do want to go in. Now we should be able to finish this place off before we actually head in there. Um, that is our destination. It's not like... Well, I think there actually is a spot there on that we need to go through. That's through here. Yeah. You will not enter the aqueducts! Lord Belial demands your blood! <laughs> Oh, uh, let's just go up here. Sure, why not? I don't think I've ever been up here at this point in the game. This is Sathras. He's the sliver bolt. And he dies. And he spawns a couple new enemies upon death. Enemies that I will deal with. And here's the scaled mages. And another scaled mages. And here is the aqueduct, as he uh, gave away. And... Honestly, we can't go in there right now. We we don't have a way to get in there, but there it is. We'll we'll, fi we'll have to figure out something. Maybe we'll find something in the uh, the forgotten ruins that will help us get into that. Don't think there's anything. Uh, oh shit! This actually goes on longer than I thought. We can defeat it though. No problem. Die. Everything dies. There we go. And we'll just continue on. Water tower destroyed. 
Shit, this actually goes on a lot longer than I thought it did. I thought we were damn near done here. But we got a lot of work to ahead of us. Like I said, I want I like to do this all in one sitting if I can, but it might it might be too much for me. It might be. We'll see though. We'll see. We're getting there. No. Oh, come on. There we go. I wanted to do revenge, and I said no. Can't do it. Damn you. Revenge when I say to. Oh, how did that not kill me? There we go. Swing and a miss. That was. It wasn't gonna go away before I got to another enemy anyway. <laughs> uh, I love. I love revenge. Just ugh. So beautiful. Heals me. Does damage to them. What more could you ask for? A fortune shrine. That's always nice. Good for you. You'll be fine. Get over it. Get over it. here. There we go. Just kill him, and then we can deal with them. Nothing. You get the fortune shrine. Doesn't even do anything for you. And now we are finally done. Make them both pop. Pop for me, babies. Of course, the water tower does damage to enemies, but eh, the, I'm not dragging enemies over to the water tower to do damage to them, you know? It's not worth my time. So now let's head over to the Forgotten Ruins. We are still in search of a guy's head, after all. Into the Forgotten Ruins. I don't think there are multiple l levels to this one. There are not. Here's a Hunter's Journal, though. We are in agreement. Cool, the renegade, must be stopped. He seeks to duplicate the power of the stones and wield it for his own ends. He is obsessed with the powers of heaven and hell. Drawing their attention will only bring doom to us all. It's like a foul mist. See, now this is the part that's always kind of got to me. Why is obsessing about the powers of heaven and hell such a bad thing? They are more powerful than you. Don't you want that power? Is it is it so bad? I guess the question is to what extent are you willing to sacrifice other things to get that power? But still, you know, could you say that Deckard Cain was not obsessed with the powers of heaven and hell? It seemed to me that he was. Particularly hell. He doesn't have much to say about heaven. Get back here, you damn pygmy! Come on, we've almost got him. Down, down he goes. There we go. Just a lot of gold, and we'll see about these. Once again, most of the, the blue items are just going to be used for scraps. And you might have noticed that I have a ton of excess materials. We will find a use for those eventually. I will f get to a point where I can start making nightmare level equipment. I'm not sure how I... Oh, now I have to think. I have to go back. Uh, I'll have to check some kind of guide to see what is going to be acceptable for me to make and what's not. Because there are certain items that you need in order to level up the, the blacksmith. And in order for him to do the more and more powerful stuff, you have to level him up, which costs gold. Uh, but... Look, just over there. I never imagined such oh, a Oh, Vortex? No, oh, no. Uh, there is a certain point where you need to be in Nightmare in order to level him up to a certain point. So I will see what um, what level that is. Wait, are they there are also Wallers here, Desiccated Imps. We don't get a lore for the Imps though? I mean, whatever. You can't pull the specials over with the, the ground stomp. Whatever. Oh shit, there's another guy so alive. There we go. Down he goes. Now I can start grabbing stuff again. Petrified trunk, how awesome is that? It's a stick! No, it's a petrified trunk. It's stronger that way. I think actually that uh, petrified wood is actually tougher than regular wood. We must be getting close to the head by now. How do you know? Intuition. She's got intuition, of course she does. Pick up anything I don't want? Nope. We're good. So we'll just keep on going, and hopefully we can find the head, get out of here, and head into the next spot. <laughs> I think there's a waypoint once we get inside the aqueduct. Um, yeah, spoiler alert, we're going to be going into the aqueduct. The guy that told us not to go in there, that means we're going in there. Just standard RPG rules there, isn't it? 
Just like, oh, you will never make it in the aqueduct. Oh, we'll probably be doing that pretty soon. Another socketed amulet? It's weird that those would keep showing up. Uh, yeah, we can probably head down here. I assume that the head's gonna be on the far side of this place after all. It's, it shouldn't be on this side. I wouldn't think it would be. That's just my thoughts on it, though. What do I know? I'm not a random generator. Shit, it is right here. Holy crap. <laughs> does this lead to, like, a portal back to town? I don't think it does. I'll, I think I can grab it and I'll be fine. And, of course, because uh, this is where we need to go, there is going to be an elite here. Just die. There we go. If it is a point of contention, I will give you that. Whether or not with whatever upgrade I have that makes it so I do more damage, 25% more damage uh, when my fury is full, whether or not it's actually better for me to not uh, use whirlwind like ever <laughs> or or just or or to use it. I don't know. I've never done the math on that. How you doing? Oh shit. <laughs> no. Ancient guardian. I got the head. I got the head. Isn't that good enough? Come on. Go. Revenge. I don't need to heal. Shit. <laughs> Whirlwind! Yeah, okay, I got healed. I don't know if she healed me or what, but I got healed. Damn. I'm hurt. Ah, uh, fine. I'll heal. Finally did have to use a potion. Ah, uh, come on. Down he goes. Down he goes. Hunter's Journal Part 2 and then Part we set 6? set out in one week's time into the desolate sands to search for Kool's hidden archives. None of us have any idea what to expect. How far has Kool's madness driven him? How much power has he accumulated in his mad quest? I can only hope we are not too late. Of course not. Now let's skip to part six. Kool mocks my every step. I try to shut him out, but his chattering is ceaseless. He takes joy in taunting me. I will not rise to the bait. I will not give in to him. I long for the silence that will come once I secure his head away. He just keeps talking? So you were looking for him, and then somewhere in between part two and part six, he finds him, obviously, and he's like, this guy won't shut up. <laughs> so, don't know when that is, but, you know, maybe we'll find the other journal somewhere around here. I think that we weren't actually supposed to find part six. We were supposed to find the other ones first, uh, but... What are you gonna do? 